How's it going, ladies and Bruce? I'm Bobby Six. Good and welcome back to Tales of Off Peak City. We couldn't get this done in a single episode, and really, I didn't want to. I really want to immerse myself in this world we found ourselves in because it is absolutely insane, and I'm loving it. Right at the end there, we found uh, this here, the override code, so we're going to figure that out. And then... I don't know. We'll figure out whatever else there is to do around this place, because... I never know. I mean, how are we ever going to be able to afford that fish? We're going to have to make the sickest goddamn pizza. I wrote down the code. Blue, red, red, white, blue. Oh my god, stop staring at me, you freak. Wait, what? What? Oh, okay, it's just a shortcut. Interesting. Alright, well, we got the nose. We got the nose. We need to head back to the pizza place. We'll do the thing with the nose, and then we'll take on our next job. We already got a, another order waiting. But, you know, I think do a pizza, do the delivery, explore a little bit. Do a little bit more back here. Then do another delivery. That's a nice, uh, nice way of getting everything around done. This is not the way I wanted to go. We need the eyes for this thing. Oh, that's that slope sail. We gotta get to that slope sail. Oh dear. Well, that's the eye right there. The eyeball of the space line. These are robot people. And they got red eyes and they are fucking terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Why are you so scary looking? Stop it. It's these things again. Why? What is going on? Money. $120, dude, I'm getting rich. Katana. Our agreement to resupply you with legacy models 104B and 104C, as all as their replacement parts, must be terminated effective immediately. The reason for this termination is as follows. All payments for the refabrication were made by the Norwood Estate, and our arrangement with you was dependent on the estate's continued solvency. When the payments stopped coming, last fall, we learned that the Norwood Estate, including its hotel and archives, had recently been acquired by a business entity known as the Modulo. That's who that guy worked for. We contacted representatives from the Norwood Estate and the Modulo, inquiring about their continuing, ongoing financial relationship. We haven't heard back from either party. Know that we still consider your early test results invaluable, and they will always serve as the foundation of our ever most cutting-edge models. Should you be able to afford our services through other means, we can offer you several alternatives to the models you've grown accustomed to. They come with greater durability and a wider baseline array of emotional states than the 104B and 104C. But these states can no longer be modified by food or drink of any sort. We appreciate your understanding of this matter. Spencer Tone, DevOps, Human Resources Horizons. Okay. Spare parts? Definitely spare parts. Not creepy at all. Okay. What did we get out of that? We got the eyeball! We can put an eyeball in the line, right? We need two though. Yep, we need two. Oh, creepy, it follows me! <gasps> That's horrifying. Alright, we need to go to that, um... We need to go to that slope sail. What's down here? Was there lines down here? I feel like there was. Oh no, there's that. I don't think the eyeball goes in there, though. I mean, ultimately, I guess we're still here after that saxophone, but I'm getting caught up in the whole... in the in the, in the, uh... the world of pizza making, you know? Pending health inspection? Come on. Come on. 14 July Avenue. Hmm. Yeah, I'm caught up in the glamorous life of a pizza maker slash deliverer. Right, we need to calm down on the sauce, because uh, people are giving a shit over our sauce. 
too much, apparently. I mean, it's just bread if it's not covered in sauce. Come on. Come on, help a guy out. And like cheese, come on. There should be an infinite amount of cheese on it. Jeez, the more cheese, the better. Right? I'm not sure about the chocolate. Let's let's put some flamingo meat on there. You know that'd be delicious with the with the uh, <laughs> with the uh, the pepperoni there, the the flamingos right in the chest. What does that mean exactly? I don't have any chest flavored stuff. You mean you want to have a heart attack from? It? Is that what you're telling me? Put a little bit of gray matter there and some blue garo. Uh, I'll leave the chocolate off this one, I think. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Getting some new ingredients all the time. Hey, what are these guys doing? Hey! Hey! You gonna order something or get out? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Make me a pizza. As fast as you can. Ah. This is a great time. If I, I think I think I could be a professional pizza maker slash deliverer as long as I lived in a completely surreal and insane town where nothing made sense. Although maybe that would even get you know boring after a while once you were used to it. 14th, 14 July Ave, Sweet Four. Let's do it. We'll be back. Hmm. I really want to go to this, uh, hang on, let's just, ah, uh, goddammit. Alright, we'll do this first, and then we need to go down to the slope sale. See if we can get ourselves a uh, space lion eye. Something I never thought I'd say. What's with this ram head everywhere? Hey, can't be a mouse stranger, the Blue Moose Energy Drink Company mixes their experimental flavours here. And yeah, a lot of freaky chemicals just floating around. Don't mind us, we're just enjoying our morning in this uh, lobby. Okay, so maybe we should get some pizza after our meeting. What meeting? Right, no meetings, nothing like that, just pizza, in an hour. Give yourself two, Eric. Two hours. Two more hours we're gonna wait for? Yep, two hours, and we can get pizza. Is this really gonna work, Curtis? Is Maria really gonna meet with us? Come on, keep your voice down, okay? I didn't say anything. Who's Muriel? Sweet four we're looking for. Nice piano. <gasps> There's that unicycle again. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not going in there. This doesn't look like a... A home? This looks like a bunch of vats. Hey! Ah, oh, good time for a pizza break. Are you Katano's esteemed new lackey? Welcome to the Blue Moose Flavor Laboratory. Here we go again. Surprised to see that multinational beverage company Blue Moose hold up in such an unassuming office suite. It's all part of our sterling strategy to keep our flavor experiments in a, con in a controlled environment. More of a controlling environment if you ask me. That's precisely the approach for far-flung flavor flexations such as these. Though my mouth sojourn out here grows more and more tedious every time you come up with a new flavor idea, Murga. If you want to stop comprising my ideas in the lab, Savior, go back to Midtown and stay there. I wouldn't dare, this quaint room holds a high value to the company because of me, myself, and I. I disagree, but they pay me too much to really care one way or the other. Eh, the door's always open for you, Xavier. Our current market-ready flavors are tweaked to perfection every time on time, and with considerable panache. Well, a slice of whatever you're serving will certainly wash that down, down that last misfire. What a deeply dreadful drought of anti-deliciousness that was, Murga. Well, we make mistakes and we learn from them, eh? It's one thing to make 20 mistakes, Murga, but entirely another if it's the same mistake 20 times. <laughs> we already have 12 perfectly tested flavors, and our market share grows exponentially with each one. What about the 50-year plan, Xavier? Our boss plans generations into the future. Tastes will evolve and we need to ride the curve wherever it takes us. And yet I can't help but wonder if the curve turns out to be more of a plateau. Meanwhile, you're having a terribly good time mixing fish sauce and watermelon extract. 
That was a good prototype, Xavier. Dietrich loved it. Dietrich Matt is our visionary, pioneering, world-conquering CEO. Somehow Murga has impressed him yet again. Utterly baffling. It's simple. I got ideas and Dietrich has bigger ideas and all you have is doubts, Xavier. If Dietrich were to roll this place up, I'd break out the caviar. Look, last month we hit out hit on that lemon lobster zest flavour. It's tasting well. It's a superfluous novelty and everyone at HQ is holding their noses during the tasting. It'll get approved by the FDA in two years. Hit the market in three and give us another 2% share just in time for your yearly bonus. You can tell your friends, you met the team responsible for the next Blue Moose flavour sensation. I'm not retiring until we revisit that apple smoke wood chip marshmallow flat soda experiment from last month. They sent it back to us again. I had to suffer the indignity of pouring out the cans in the street on my half day. I'll admit I don't think people are ready for intentionally flat soda yet. If it weren't for me, you'd be back in your apartment with your homebrew kit in the bathtub. Well, that's how Dietrich Matt did it. Don't underestimate the homebrew kit. Anyway, it's the weekend. We have to figure out this new flavour today. Are you referring to the cinnamon bacon with cocoa and actual bits of garlic syrup? Well, it takes time. Mineral based mouthwash. Man, that was a lot of words. Finally, some real food in this joint. After a month spent dining in, dining out in four-star restaurants every night, my tongue longs for variety, let's see. That's more sauce than I've had in my past five pizzas combined. <laughs> my god, still. Clearly Katana has taught you something. A little bit of pepperoni always makes my day, eh, Xavier? If it were suppressata, I'd agree. But in this part of town, I'll take what I can get. The mushroom on this pizza reminds me of the flowers and dirt flavour we worked on a few years back. The flavour almost got us fired? I'd rather forget about that one. Is Katano running low on cheese? We have a cheese flavour substitute here in the lab. That stuff's still in prototype. Not yet fit for human consumption, Merkin. Besides, a dearth of cheese makes one appreciate it more, no? I've never had beluga roll on my pizza. Oh, beluga roll on toast is the standard at all four-star restaurants on the Lower West Side. Mr. Fancy over here. A taste of the top shelf stuff. I've never had a flamingo meat pizza before. Flingo flamingo meat is some of the most tender, juicy, complex bird meat around. Seriously, I can't believe you were able to get all this flamingo meat on a pizza, whatever your name is. It's Bobby. Bobby, you have a pizza concept, I'll give you that. Synthetic grey matter? Can't be. Lovely, some brains on my pizza. I remember having chilled brain caviar on my last winter cruise on the tropics. Magical. I know where you got that grey matter, Bobby. You're in places you shouldn't be. Seeing things you shouldn't see. Uh-oh. Basil is about pizza tradition. And on this pie, you uphold it with a light touch. There's barely any on here, Bobby. But everyone knows it's mostly for show anyway. A mere hat tip to the green leaf, Bobby, I see that. A basil wink, if you will. Well, Bobby, I think a tip is in order. Hold on, Blue Moose enforces a no-tipping policy. Our books are balanced perfectly, after all. Oh, please, Xavier. I was a waitress once. Here you go, Bobby. That is a terribly generous tip, Murga, for a very intriguing pizza. You used to earn way more as a maitre, maitre d', Xavier. Enough. Past chapters of my life shall remain in the past, Murga. Ah, Xavier. Just count your money and be served. Let's eat. Oh, pizza, I surrender to you. <laughs> I've been in places I shouldn't have been, apparently. Well, they did. Apparently. Now we just gotta... Rifle through all their bullshit like we do with everybody. After we knock them out with our, with our killer pizza. Violin! Cool. What else is there? I bet there's flavouring stuff in here. They make flavours here, so we can find flavours for our pizza. You know what I mean? Film. Okay. Are you okay? You'll be alright, right? I hope you're gonna be okay. Oh my god, what are you doing? Are you seriously having to swim in that? Maybe they're tripping balls. Maybe that's all there is to it. I can't leave? Wait, why? Oh, there's a down, downstairs. I didn't even notice. 
Oh my god, look at the face on that! What kind of moose has teeth like that? Jesus! That's horrifying. <laughs> I never want to meet that in Dark Alley. What are you two doing here? Nothing, just passing the time, waiting for a... Did you know that there's a dangerous chemical laboratory in this building? I had no idea, none whatsoever. You're trespassing, so you need to, to escort you out of the factory now. I just smelled the pizza, so... We'll take note of the keen sense of smell back at the factory. And whoever's delivering pizzas here, I'll deal with them later. Hold on, do you know who my mother is? Assembly Speaker Joe Troy in City Hall. If she finds out anything's happened to me out here... You're Joe's kid, huh? I see her on TV all the time. One of the regular talking heads, and up for a re-election too. We can certainly use her attention, right boys? What a mess. The factory awaits vagrants. V awaits vagrants. Sorry, I left out the, uh, the uh, comma there. I did not vocalise the punctuation. Apologies. <laughs> hey, it's you two. The saxophone. I ain't got it. I'm working on it. Shit. Oh, roulette. <laughs> Can we play some roulette? Oh, what do we got here? Is this another flavor? Olives. Stop human resources horizons. Yeah, I figured that's going to be a thing. We need to hit up that slope, sloop, stoop, stoop, stoop sail. Yeah, we need to hit up the stoop sail. Yoink. Tomb film. Alright, we're gonna hit up the stoop sale on the way back to the pizza joint. Because I just gotta know if I can get the other lion eye there. There's something down there. I think that's a, a topping. Those guys have got it. Oh, I gotta go check them out. Stoop sale's this way anyway. There's so much town to explore, there's so, so much I haven't seen yet, even now. I used to catch... Hey guys, are you here from City Hall by chance? Have you come for the stoop sale? Stoop sales always attract outsiders. I want the stoop sale. I saw Dave set it up this morning, right up the stairs and down the street toward the flo flooding. Say, so City Hall was going to do something about that flooding, yeah? My buddy here thinks City Hall can solve all his fishing problems. Assemblywoman Joe Troy promised to trap repopulation. Where is it, huh? After the last flood, hundreds of trout spilled out into Yam Street. Joe Troy made me made a promise two years ago, man. She sent some inspectors over here, but now radio silence. He's doing the head wobble. Maybe they finally had the pleasure of meeting Big Mo. You don't want to cross Big Mo, stranger. Maybe he should repopulate the trout himself. I think he'd get in trouble if we called him fucking trout. Yeah, but for what price? I learned long ago to steer clear from anything to do with him or human resources horizons. Keep your voice down, Big Mo might be listening to us right now. I'll assume the risk. Big Mo is watching, stranger. Um, nice day to fish. Um. <clears throat> gummy worms. Gummy worms? I'm assuming that means gummy worms. Not literal, actual worms, right? Is it down here? Where's the sloop stoop sail? <gasps> there it is! I need the eye. How much is it? Two fifty? Yo, I need that eye. What the shit? Picked clean. You never know who's gonna show up looking to play bone set xylophone. You know? Not junk. Yeah, if it was really junk, I would have donated it to Building Nine. They'll take anything you can get over there. Not Building Nine. It's rare that I get such a strong turnout. When I put my stuff on a street like this. Thing is, we don't get as many visitors since the flooding. But Katano's a local celebrity. Katano, pizza, saxophone. That's right, 35. You and I have, a, have both been here long enough to remember Katano before he made pizza. Before Norwood discovered him, even. Norwood noisy. We'd see Katano down at Zucchini's Bar every Thursday. The place is packed. Dancing and aisles. No wonder he was Norwood's favourite. Supreme sounds. But these days I hear something else coming from Norwood's apartment above the pizzeria. What did you hear? I can't put my finger on it, 35. Always late, late at night. A real ruckus. I asked Katano about it not long ago. Just the mild concerns of neighbour. That's all. What did he say? Uh, he just stared into the distance and told me. Learning is a spiral staircase. The higher you go, 
the more you come around to the same problems. But you're at a higher level with them. I'd ask him if he was referring to his pizza, his music making, or someone else. He just smiled and told me to get some earplugs when things got loud. Just like the old days, he said. Like the old days. <sighs> Alright, G. That cost me almost all of my money, but I'm taking it. Later, 35, and other guy. Alright, now we can put this eye in. We delivered everything, eh? We're good, we're good. Bone xylophone! Hey, Bobby, the band's arrived. Yeah, where's Katano so he can pay us? He's gone, Jay. We got off in that ambulance. Look, Bobby, given he worked for Katano, now you're in charge of his affairs while he's gone. Katano would have hired me, but now I feel responsible for you, Bobby. If you need any more help, Francis and Jay have been snooping around this place. They might know a few things. And hey, I see you got a photo of Katana's old saxophone on you. Yeah, and what's with that octagon symbol on the photo? I propose a deal. You give us the photo, we give you some help. What do you say? Look, you don't have to take the help, Bobby. But it's there if you want it. Your choice. Maybe you find it on your own. There's always a price, Bobby. I need help. I'm fine. I'm having fun just decoding this uh, mystery on my own. It's a good time. Oh my god, that background... Uh. Oh, that's so disorienting. Oh my god, it makes me want to hurl. Let's find out. Here we go. I'm broke after that one. <gasps> I need the horn. I need the horn. Alright, we'll get on that. I know where to get it at least. Clarice Grosso. Okay. What else we got up in here? Oh, it's this! Interesting money. Five hundy? Don't we get our money back? We gotta go buy that horn now. Please stay up. Don't wanna. Oh, shit. Alright, we'll go down there in a sec. Is there a bath in the blue moose goo? It's kind of weird. I mean, everything's weird. I don't know why I bothered saying that. Of course it's fucking weird. Everything's weird. Alright. Alright. Okay. Oh, and we're on the stage. Alright, well, we need to make another pizza, and then we need to hit that, that place on July Street and grab the horn. Alright. 9 July Ave. Unorthodox tendencies. Oh, now we're talking. I'm all about those unorthodox... That means lots of chocolate. <laughs> They're gonna bitch about my sauce again. I just know it. And apparently, and apparently I'm not putting enough cheese on. Which I agree with, but they've been bitching about how much of everything I've been putting on. Basil. Just a little bit. Pepperoni. You know what's unorthodox? Using everything. Whoops. Lots of chocolate. Gummy worms. Yeah, now we're talking. I got an unorthodox pizza for you right here. It's gonna have a little bit of everything on it. Beautiful. Delicious. We're only missing like two ingredients. That's crazy. There's shit falling off it as it goes. There's so much crap on it, it's falling off as it goes up the treadmill. Treadmill? I forgot what these things are called. Never mind. Alright, what are we doing next? That's right, we need the horn. We need the horn and we got all the film. No, we're missing one film and we need to buy that camera still. <gasps> then we can take photos? Question mark? Probably. Ah, this is the life, man. Living it up. This is quite... I can't believe he, after one delivery he gave us his whole pizza joint. I love it here. 
Oh crap, it's building Nine's Pizza. Shit, I didn't know that. Nine July Avenue, that's building nine. Ooh. Can we, uh, before we hit that up. I'm just gonna grab the horns and it's on this side of July Avenue anyway. Then we'll go back check it out just in case because 9 July Avenue scares me. I could die there or something. It's scary. Okay? God. Hey, I'm back. I just need the horn. Alright. $3,400. Calm down. It's this. I need this. Dude, I can't afford it. Can I borrow like $22? Now, I'll deliver this pizza and then I'll come back. Alright. Surely this one pizza can make me $22. I mean, I, I put a lot of toppings on it. That makes it worth more, right? <laughs> because more equals better. I, that's definitely how it works. Definitely. Well, there's number nine over there. And there's tears falling out of it. Oh, poor number nine. How do I get in? Oh no, really? In its mouth? I don't like that. There you go. Good? <laughs> I don't think the building's gonna tip me. Just getting a feeling. Oh yep, yep, it's in his teeth. 40 bucks! Thanks number nine! Alright, we can afford the horn now. Let's go back. It's perfectly paced so that you can do a little bit of exploring between each pizza delivery. And it gives you just enough money to keep it up. What the fuck are you doing down there, huh? Looks dangerous, don't swim in that. You silly bastard. Pawn shop. Ha! Ah, it's a giant pawn. And all the people downstairs turned into pawns and I didn't understand the significance of that until just now. My voice just went all high and low and I'm not too sure what's going on. See, that money's still going down and we're not even in the building anymore. <laughs> Eighteen dollars. It's basically what we started with. And they're just going to be bitching because I ain't got a saxophone yet. I know I ain't got your saxophone yet, but I'm working on it. I'm enjoying my time as well. Enjoying my pizza making- oh crap. You're- her dad? You know Bobby did? You. Oh Maxine. Bobby, I think it's time to call in one of your pizza orders to my office. Don't listen to him Bobby. Maxine, your priorities are your studies. Not these flights of fancy with pizza makers and wannabe musicians. Remember who you are. This again. We're counting on you. I'm counting on you. Have you studied for tomorrow's class on emotional brainwave response statistics? I memorized that entire textbook last Thursday. It took me an hour. Boring. Ha! <laughs> and it's all coming together and Bobby here is doing me a great service. Which goes way beyond pizza. Huh? Get to the truth upstairs, Bobby. I don't want to know. He knows that I'm to do things something. That's worrying. That door's closed. That door's closed. Why are all the doors closed again? What the hell? Eh. 104A. It's these things again. Ah, oh, balls. They're behind me. They're waiting for me to come out. Registry Division. Certified copy record of death. Jan Grosso. Married, 57. That's his wife? What is that? How do I get that? I can't jump. I need the horn. Well, Bobby just saved me a lot of trouble getting into Katano's sanctum. Katano, Norwood, they'd be long gone if not for human resource horizons. Interferes Katano's model. Still, 
has one last cycle left before it's fully phased out. Our company never guaranteed that our models would possess the same musical talents as their sources, but they did possess unpredictable amounts of emotional capacity, especially Katano's, especially his. Norwood's final gambit on Katano didn't, play, didn't pay off in the end. But hey, we were a young company back then. We were over-promising left and right. The things you do to get paid, eh Bobby? Clearly you've seen too much. I need to escort you to my office at the factory immediately. Sorry dude, I ain't going anywhere yet. Katano's vault door. Katano! There's another way out! Thank god, let's go! We did it! We got the saxophone! Oh my god. <laughs> ah, fuck, why am I still staring at it? It's really off putting. Stop! Go away! Can't see. What is going on? Let me out. Hey! Who are you? Are you okay? Ah! Thank you! Dude, everyone's after us. We gotta get the hell out of here! Let's go, let's go, let's go! I don't know where we're going, but we gotta go. What's with these speaker stacks here? <gasps> Look! It's the frickin' credits! That's cool. Hey! I got the saxophone! Get in. And that's it! Wow! That was absolutely nuts! Man, I really enjoyed that. I might have to go back at my own time and have a little bit more of an explore in that. If any of you guys know of anything that I didn't do, anything that I might have missed, let me know in the comments please, because I need to know more. I might go look up the other games, because I haven't played any of the other Cosmo D games, the other off -peak. Like, there's another game called Off-Peak City, I believe. Just called Off-Peak City. Which is a free game, I believe, but I'll have a look around anyway. And maybe we'll give them a go as well, because that was so cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.